who I found. Get out of the way, Lenny. He hasn't been on stream yet today, has he? Hey, buddy. Oh. Should I put you down? Yeah? All right. Uh, there you go. Are you going to just chill? Oh, you're going to leave right away? All right. Well then. <sighs> Thank you very much, Muktafuz, for the 100 bits. The summoning was successful. You did say the word locat many times. Um, I have treats here. So, oh, I have, I have them right over here. Oh, now you're going to come back, huh? Yeah, I see how it is. Should I do the thing where I put it on top of the monitor? He hasn't been very good at this. Here. I put it right underneath the camera. Oh, you hit it. Why don't you just eat it? Did you get it? Oh yeah, you got it. Well done. Okay, one more time. You're sitting on my Q key, by the way. Here. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's too smart now, guys. <laughs> what if I put it on top of the camera? Okay, now that's a bad idea. That lens is expensive. Come on. It's right here. <laughs> He's being very gentle. He also wrote something. Look at that. You seeing that? In the, <laughs> in the bottom left. <laughs> there you go. There you, no, you got it. There you go. He's being so gentle, though. He used to be so aggressive whenever he tried to pick up anything. I'm out. I'm out. <clears throat> there we go. But he used to be very bitey and very scratchy and stuff, but he's doing much better now. Are you gonna actually look at the camera for once? No. There you go. Yeah, he wrote he wrote this. I I don't know either. He mellowed out. Yeah, he did mellow out a little bit. He still has his crazy moments though. Like right now, for example, there's a tail in front of my monitor, which is quite annoying. He's looking at the camera as if there's candy hiding there. <clears throat> what are you doing? Does it still smell like it? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's good. He's very good now. He also got snipped though back in December, a couple months ago. And uh, that, that certainly also helped him uh, mellow out a lot. Because he was starting to... Uh, Get a, get a little horny, man. He was looking around the place like he was ready to go. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you guys. I'm gonna head outside and uh, find myself, <laughs> find myself, uh, whatever, man. He didn't care anymore at some point, it seemed. He was ready to go, wh whatever he wanted to. Yeah, he was gonna, like, he was like seven months old at the time, so. Apparently what they do at that point, the next move is to start spraying all over the place, which basically means that they're trying to show off their territory. And the TLDR of that is that they're starting to piss in every corner of the house. And apparently, even if you get them snipped, um, it may become a learned behavior in the sense that if you do it too late, they just do it out of habit. <laughs> so you get them snipped and even though they don't necessarily have to need it anymore, he's like, oh, I'm going to piss a little here, piss a little there. <laughs> so the absolute latest we could do it was seven months. And... Um, He's wagging his tail right next to my herbs. I have like little plant pots over there in the corner. I don't think I can I can show you very easily, but he's wagging his tail. This might turn off the camera though. I'm not sure. We're gonna try, but yeah, see this is the problem. Oh oh, can you see him? This is an issue. Hello. Oh yeah, there you go. You see the little plant pots? I've noticed that the the tail wagging like that. It's usually a good indication. Oh, all right. Usually a good indication that uh, he's just waiting. <laughs> he's just waiting to strike. It's like, okay, is human not paying attention? Perfect. Let's go. 
Let me dig up all of it, all of the dirt and whatever I can find. Anyway, can highly recommend getting a cat now. <sighs> okay, so I unlocked. What was it? Ruins. All right. The existence or this existence or, or the this existence of this civilization ended long before the Lich's curse, but it remains, or its remains can still be of use to you. Gives a random basic resource shard upon visit. Spawns a scorch worm every two days. All right, that seems nice. Sure. Loco, we know your kind of herbs down there in the Netherlands. Like basil. That that kind of, yeah. I should probably disable something else though. What should I disable? Maybe I should do a run without groves and blood groves. And we just have 10 in total. Oblivion? You don't think Oblivion is very good? No, I really like Oblivion. I really like this card. Uh, wheat fields go very well with villages. But the problem is that I keep finding myself with a whole lot of wheat fields in my, in my backpack. Which actually isn't a big deal. Maybe we can turn that one on. Yeah, let's give it a try like this. I mean, I've run with the same setup for a while now. Ruins are new, we can play with wheat fields, and we'll disable the groves and the blood groves. Go without meadow and rock? No, no, you have to have those. You gotta have a minimum of two. And a maximum of two. Cool. Let's go. If we find it, or if we find our way to the boss this time around, I will... I will fight him. So we'll build that over here. Yeah, you just gotta find like the place with the most space. Maybe over here is fine too. Oh, it's literally below my camera, guys. It's there though, I swear. Mm -mm -mm. Is this one of those games that you play a full game in an hour or two, or can you evolve indefinitely, generally? Uh, it's, it seems like it's basically indefinite. On screen chat, please. Oh, sorry. I forgot that you guys still were, all, uh, were on there. Um, gives a random basic resource upon visit. Alright, let's build those over here for once. I don't know. Let's try them out over here. No, sorry. I put you guys on the screen after, uh, or when I went downstairs for a little bit, but... I mostly was just there to pet Milo, and then I went back upstairs, and I figured I may as well take him. But now he left us, so I, I don't know. Is Milo a hater? Could be. I thought maybe you wanted to be on stream so you could wave to mom. And like everyone else in your family that's watching, right? Because she told them of my live stream, so I maybe... Maybe you want it to be on there for a bit longer? But I guess not, huh? Um, <clears throat> okay, mountain again. So there's the, uh, the worms. I think I can hold one more card. Hmm. Um. I guess we'll make a meadow over here. I want to like make a three by three over here, and a meadows around it, so it won't connect until a bit later. But there we go. Yeah, the game is really neat so far. F. Jana. Gotta always be careful with the way I pronounce your name, but. Okay. 
get that one. So this is a new enemy. Oh, what's this? Oh, these are ranged attackers. Archers takes part in battles on adjacent tiles. Oh, these are from the tiles next door. Angry Snacks. Yeah, where's Angry Snack? So now I'm fighting the same thing again. Oh, okay, I see. That's a problem. Okay, so that's for these ruins. So these ruins are dangerous. Yeah, these ruins are very dangerous. Ruin has come to our family. Should I be moving them like one square apart? I couldn't. Nah, I don't think I want to do that. I'm just gonna try it out, but I'll I'll collect more. But this might be a card that I don't like too much. That hurts, man. That was a lot of damage I just took. Uh, I haven't really gotten very lucky, though, with my, my items so far. It's a bit annoying. I need a village, or I need, like... No, not that. I guess I can discard. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, another ruin. This might be a bad idea, but we'll see. Cemetery. Spider. My character has 97% critical chance doing 191% damage. Is this OP? I don't know. You'll probably take uh, a whole lot of damage. Actually, I think evasion might be a little bit superior because I'm not really summoning that many skeletons. Um... Cool. I like that one a lot. Man, why am I not spawn or why am I not getting any of the items? Ugh. Yeah, wheat fields, I don't think I like them, guys. Now finally a village shows up, but I seem to get like seven freaking wheat fields for every village I get. So now it's fine, because now they get like I get a lot of healing here. Maybe I've just been unlucky, though. I don't know. Wait, what happened, Wayman? What? Wait, you wrote something earlier? Oh, oh my god. No, Wayman. <laughs> Did your mom spend too much time on Facebook this year? It's politics? Oh, no. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna get destroyed here, guys. We're gonna find out together. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. I still have a couple other chances, though, for, <laughs> for me to get destroyed. Oh, that sucks, wait, man. Um... Okay, well, we actually beat it. I didn't think we were going to be able to beat it. Now I get a heal up. Eh, you know what? That's not so bad. I think these, uh, these road lanterns really help out quite a bit. We'll just, like... Fill this place up with road lanterns. See how it goes. I really am not getting very lucky here at all, man. Ugh. Um. I haven't gotten any of the treasuries. Uh, there's one. Okay. 
What? No, that's not even the location I wanted. No, that's fine. You know what? I'm even gonna put another rock over there too, just so we can fill it in. Uh, we'll build it over here. There you go. Alright, now we finally have some room again. Nice. Pretty sure you can do one more round. Are you sure, Gary? I think I can, but... That seems to be my demise. <laughs> ah, just one more loop. What could possibly happen? I'm sure it's fine. I have some pretty decent items, though. Whew. Well, now we have some very decent items. One more loop, baby. Let's go. A Garing told me I could probably do it, so I believe, dude. Like, a Garing has never lied to me. Oh god, that's a lot of ranged enemies! Easy. You know, I really didn't need another addiction, yet here we are. <laughs> I feel like I have a bad influence on some of you, man. Like, it feels like some of you started watching my stream because you didn't have a whole lot of time anymore to play video games. And then you bought a game that I played at some point. And now all of a sudden you find yourself doing nothing but playing video games. Like, am I... Am I the bad guy? <sighs> hey, that's me. <laughs> Loco, I need to retake Amazon's tax info interview. Can you do it on stream, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Why would I do that? No, that's a bad idea, bro. You don't want to be uh, streaming uh, your personal info. That's a bad idea, man. I did have to retake the YouTube. Uh, you guys saw the YouTube drama of last night? I don't know if you guys saw the YouTube drama. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. So the way they worded it made it sound like it was the worst thing in the world. So someone linked me this at the end of yesterday's live stream. Um, if you're a YouTube partner, or if you're a YouTube partnership program, I think is what this is, creator outside of the US, important tax changes are coming later this year that may affect your YouTube earnings. Find out what's happening. Creators outside the U.S. may begin to have taxes deducted from their U.S. earnings. These are earnings from viewers in the U.S. through ad views, YouTube premium, super chats, super stakers, and channel memberships. So this would be about like 60-70% of my YouTube income, right? And I pay a shitload of taxes in the Netherlands as it is. This would be essentially like getting double income taxes, what it seems like, right? So there's a, a whole lot of info over here. Now, the way, the, the way they worded it, like, they also sent an, in, an email with it as well, saying, like, hey, if you don't fill it out, we're gonna already, uh, we're gonna automatically, like, hold 24% of your total income, uh, and all that, right? Like, it, it's, it's worded not particularly well. Essentially, what it comes down to, if you've ever, if you're in the Netherlands or, like, anywhere in, in I think, the rest of the world, basically, you have to fill out a form, and... If I understand correctly, most countries have some sort of treaty with the USA and other countries in the world as well. Um, that says, hey, if you earn money in our country, but you're located in that country, this is how much tax we're going to be paying each other and how it works out, right? So it's like a two-road kind of thing. Anyways, turns out if you're in the Netherlands, um, you're basically, like, if you are in the situation that I'm in, um, you have to pay zero taxes in the USA which makes a whole lot of sense. But the way that it makes, like the way that it's worded, it makes it sound so dramatic in a way, right? Like, I don't know why they've made it this way and why they've written it down as they've done. Because basically all I needed to do was fill out some, some business information that declares that I've paid taxes in the Netherlands. And since there's a treaty between the Netherlands and the USA, it determined, hey, you have to pay no taxes in the USA. Um, so, I don't know. Apparently there's other countries though, like, Apparently there's countries that have like a 5% deal or like a 10% deal or something along those lines. But then there's also countries that don't have a treaty when it comes to trading with other countries. Um, 
and if that's the case, like if you live in like, I don't know, I don't know freaking which country that would be, but if you live in one of those countries, you're screwed. Because then you have to pay like income tax at home and then also like 30% on US viewers. Nothing happens and you have to do some paperwork isn't a good title, Loco. Right. But like the way they worded it, like if you look at a lot of the responses here, a lot of people think, look, someone says here the first comment, can you guys do one fucking thing beneficial to creators, right? Like there's a whole lot of things here. That makes it, thanks Biden, now he wants to tax everyone, every, this has nothing to do with any of that. People have no clue what they're talking about. This is literally just a rule that every government seems to do, right? And, and like, you need to have paperwork done. That's really all what it comes down to, but anyways, I, um, I figured I should update you on that because I was very concerned about it after I read this tweet. I'm like, all right, well. Uh, it's not that I only do YouTube videos because of the ad revenue, but it would really suck if I would lose like half of the fucking ad revenue, right? Um, definitely not gonna pay as much attention to YouTube at that point because I spend a whole lot of time there and it just seems like a bad idea. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's really not, it's really not so bad as people made it sound. Yeah, if you're like a, if you're like a YouTuber from Iran or something, then it's probably bad for you. But, you know, I don't know how many there are. But yeah, paperwork. So there's like this thing called a W-8 form. If you ever had to fill one out, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. It's not that complex though. It's pretty self-explanatory. Anyways, so I filled it all out. I should detected. be good. Don't know why it didn't highlight it, but I say it again. Almost two years in what the big. Man Hagrid said to Harry, but your version, you're a influencer, loco. <laughs> Thanks to you, some of us in the chat bought the game, low, low, lows. Thank you, loco. Gaben! <laughs> Someone call Gaben, man. Uh, where's my affiliate sale, Gabe? Apparently, I'm an influencer. Thank you, Dean, for the 22 months. Um. Edge of impossibility. No, not this New one again. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yo, Pokelex! Welcome back. Thank you, sir. No, but like the way they worded it was made it like it made it sound like YouTube was doing it to like fuck with people, you know? Like they were trying to increase their own earnings. That's what a lot of people read anyway. But it's just a rule from the IRS, right? Like what is it? The Internal Revenue Services or whatever? New subscriber detected. It's not like they do it for fun. They just have to like, you know, up apply better rules, right? Like they have to or abide better rules, right? It's it's not It's Infernal Revenue Services. Oh, okay, all right. Anyways, average MPA fee. <laughs> Thank you very much. For the 3 years. Thank you, sir. Always fun discussing taxes, guys. Always a lot of fun, huh? Yeah, I feel like a lot of the problems can be... With better communication, a lot of those problems can be solved. 100%. I don't know how you would word it differently, right? But if they would have said something like, because of rules for like, because of rules given to us by the, you know, the IRS in the USA, if you're a content creator from Europe, you have to fill out, or like if you're a content creator outside of the USA, you have to fill out paperwork to determine how much tax is gonna be withheld from American viewers. Like something like that would be so much, rather than, <sighs> anyways. I guess, I guess they thought about it very clearly, though. They must not have just whipped up a tweet at a random moment, right? They must have actually thought it through, so I'm, I'm sure... I'm sure there's some more thought behind it than that. Uh, I think, guys... We're gonna have to nuke that camp. Get it out of here.
Someone, yeah, did their best. And it made people absolutely freak out, including myself for a bit there. It was probably written by a lawyer, yeah. I don't know, maybe. I almost feel like they shouldn't have tweeted about it, though. Because, <laughs> like, as soon as I logged into YouTube, there was, like, a little pop-up that showed up. Hey, you need to fill out this paperwork about taxes. Like, why did they tweet about it in the first place? What's the purpose? It's to inform people, right? But, like, it just... I don't know. Now it just made people, like, think very dramatically. Well, there's probably a good reason for it, though. One more loop? A Garing told me I can probably do one more loop, right? Or oh, what's that this loop, a Garing? A Garing, what do you say? One more loop? Loco, you should probably retreat. A Garing told me I can do one more, though. One more loop, easy. Alright. A Garing? I'll drop 40% of the things, okay? It's probably a good idea. <laughs> I thought it was fine too, but the quest mop was right over there. <laughs> Oof. Hey, I can make a mud hut. That's exciting. A hovel made of sticks and muds. Or mud, rather. Houses only one person. Every resident brings you closer to victory. Build more houses. You can give residents furniture or food to store. I can make a mud hut. <laughs> We're one step closer to proudly calling our humble camp a village, even though it's a shelter, half covered in mud. But we are really grateful. People are very exhausted, both physically and mentally. Some private space to call a home will bring some happiness. <laughs> All right. So I can upgrade this building. You can give residents furniture or food to store. I, it said I had like a bed or something. This is open. Oh, I think this may have opened up like more slots. Is that what it just did? Wait, didn't it like it showed me something? Oh, I lost it when I retreated. Oh, okay. Loco, I'm sitting here eating hummus and carrots. No, no, you're supposed to eat carrots with hummus, fallen rain. New subscriber. It makes it easier, man. Otherwise, you like scoop After up the hummus. After Twitch highlight jokes about Prime sub, I apparently got debated. <laughs> Welcome, dead end. Welcome. Appreciate it. I'm gonna keep playing ruins. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna get rid of spiders. Question mark? Yeah, yeah. Get out of here, spiders. Wheat fields, you guys get to hang out for a little bit longer. Oh, we're one over to sub goal now? Nice. Hey, thanks, guys, for filling up the sub bar. Is this a good time to mention I actually don't know the game and all I'm baking is pancakes? Wait. That makes you a true Twitch chat grandmaster now. That's good. That's real good. You bake pancakes? Oh no, here we go again. This is a common Dutch problem we run into. Apparently, you don't bake pancakes. Even though in Dutch we say we bak a pannenkoeken. You know, that's what we say, but apparently that's not correct or something. You make them, you don't bake them. Even though, like, literally they're a cake. Please do the tax form streams. No screen share, just witty commentary. No, bro. Nobody wants to watch anyone do tax forms. Me, me, definitely not. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. Welcome back for the one year, by the way.
Oh shit, did I just em I ac okay, I accidentally enabled uh pancake only mode. Wait, no, pancake only mode. I accidentally <laughs> Wait, I read the word pancake. And no. <clears throat> I'm not even going to correct myself. The stream is now in pancake only mode, guys. If you're not baking pancakes, you're not allowed to talk anymore. Put your pancakes in the oven. Luckily, we forgave you. I, I meant emote only mode, but it's the same thing. You're faking pancakes? Oh, okay. I'd pay good money for a pancake emote. You're already sub max. Only if it has syrup. <laughs> You'll pay more. Oh, all right, I see. Okay, we're gonna build a load of shit over here. Village. Village. Why is the chest attacking us, dude? Is that a mimic? I'm just gonna like fill up this area over here. And then we'll build like the rest of the road lanterns in this area instead. Yeah, pancakes are pretty OP, man, not gonna lie. Imagine not eating pancakes. Why is everyone putting their items on as fast as possible? You kill mobs faster equals more time passes. You get less loot, then mobs get stronger. Because I'm just playing the video game. Are you saying I should just be equipping things when I'm on pause? Like in between battles? Look, I haven't had pancakes in years. Really? Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it, Mr. Koblenz? Look at this. Oh, it works perfectly. Oof, nice. I could actually only do the rocks on top if I do like another one over here. Then rocks over there again. This would be attached. Yeah, true. True. One more round? One more round, guys. One more loop. One more loop. No, we're going we're gonna to do a couple more loops. No mimic chest this time around. That's good. Okay. I picked up an antique shelf. That's nice. Maybe I can keep it for myself. Nah, that would be shellfish. Right now. Yeah, so this time around, by the way, I'm not full on... Um, um, I'm more skeleton, sure. Um, uh, this time around, I'm not full on... What's it called? Uh, wheat fields. So maybe I just get unlucky the first couple times. Badoops. No, that was a terrible joke. I was really bad. Uh, let's see. A permanent 0.5 bonus to energy armor for every summoned skeleton. Detected. Oof. Yo, liquid iced. Thank you. More defenses, okay, so we can defeat the boss. That's the goal.
Terrible pun equals a new sub. <laughs> yeah. Liquid Ice is probably disappointed, but you know what? What was the alternative, huh? Um, I think I'm gonna nuke the bandit camp. Get it out of here. It's what killed me last time. Well, it didn't kill me, but it almost did. Um... There's another goblin camp. We're gonna nuke that thing too. Get it out of here. Man, I don't really need more villages, do I? I have like so many heal-up points already. I'm not sure. Like, <laughs> seems like a good idea to have more healing, but... We should probably have the battlefield thing, though. I'm gonna put the... Uh, yeah. It's gonna be cre creating some other roads, right? But it's okay. Yeah, skeleton level seems quite important, but for now we're mostly just trying to upgrade shit. Just general upgrades seem to be better. Okay, so this is scary though. These are always scary. When they summon in so many of them. Especially if they're quest minions. So far, not bad though. Five percent chance to destroy the hero's item when attacking. All right. If I literally just have an item break, that would kind of suck. Which I think is exactly what that means. <sighs> Do I want spoilers? No, no, no. Why would anyone want spoilers for video games? No, no, no. Like, getting spoilers for video games like this is kind of like reading the final page of the book first, you know? Unless we're really stuck, but haven't really gotten to that point yet. That we can get another one of these treasuries, that would be really nice, but... We'll make a few meadows here. We just have some more space. Another battlefield? Okay. A couple villages. Um... I could definitely place more villages, it's just that I already have so much healing, it seems. I guess more villages means that there's gonna be another one of those camps set up as well. Okay, we'll put up two more villages. Okay, that's totally fine. Bandit camp over there in that village, but that's okay. A couple more enemies is probably fine. Studies show that people who get a summary of the story first appreciate the story more. What is the real, uh, like the real question is though, if you already know the ending of the story, how many people actually finish the story? I feel like there must be way less people that finish the story after they already know the result! No, 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 fuck me! No, no, no! Why did they retarget all of a sudden? Hello? Okay, I'm dead. Oh, fuck me.
I was doing really well. I was having like full health and everything and then we dined. Wait, why can I sometimes take all? I will lose the antique shelf, guys. Ay, ay, ay. I thought I was going to be okay there. Not the shelf. Where will I put my whiskey without the shelf? Exactly. Very good question. I do not know if I like villages, guys. I'm not sold on the idea of villages. I'm not sure what I do like, though. <laughs> like, if I disable this as well, I've got like three different things. Yeah, the ruins are really crazy. I'm gonna go vampire. New Maybe we should go detected. vampire and villages together again. Rotted and ruins. Okay, we now have nine cards. That's less than I've ever had. Let's go down, Mortsk. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I think this is gonna be the last run for today, guys. Because uh, I gotta go to Germany in the morning, and I haven't packed anything yet. I should probably pack. It's probably a good idea. <clears throat> yeah, should, should probably have that. I'm coming to Germany. I know. Aber natürlich. Wie geht's, meine Leute? Mananami's loco. I gotta go to Krefeld, which is like right over the border. Uh, let's see. So I got a treasury, that's nice. Um, so I can put the next one over there. Should be fine. Village. Uh, we'll put the village over there. And then, yeah. Get that. Get that. Vampires? Does that work as well, actually? Or does it have to be right next door? No, I think it has to be connected. Uh, I only have to be. I only have to go for a little bit in Germany. It's uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty close. I think I have to drive like two hours. It's not like a. No, nah, like two and a half hours. You all of a sudden live close to Krefeld. Okay, I see how it is. 
Could be in Cray Felt in six hours. There you go, guys. My mom is in Cray Felt. On an interstellar scale, we all live close. Yeah, I, I, true. Technically, the truth. Oh, actually, the way that I'm doing this is not smart. Nope. Okay, well, I'll finish the mountain, I guess. It's probably worth. Um. Well, I can't place the treasury over here right now. I was making. I was leaving room for a treasury to go right away. Ah, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Technically correct is the best kind of correct. Sure. I got a dinner table, guys! Nice. You don't like forest or desert? Uh, I don't have forests or deserts. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I do like them. I'll let you know. Um... We'll prioritize skeleton level. Ooh. Sure, that seems fun. First two skeletons spawned and... Uh, okay, are gonna be more powerful. That seems pretty cool. I think we're gonna nuke this guy. There you go. Get him out of here. Nuke that bandit camp as well. Nuke it! Mm, we're actually keep that. Oh, you got those before? Interesting. I'm always impressed whenever like a game comes out, right? Like this game has only been out for a little bit. How far along a lot of people already are. It's pretty fantastic. Like, there's a lot of people that are ahead of me. Now, obviously, I didn't pick up this game until yesterday, but it's not been out for long at all. But there's already so many people that are, like, way ahead of me and, like, already have questions about what in the world I'm doing. When in the reality, I'm just winging it. God, that skeleton hits hard. If, as long as he's not hitting me, it's all good. Oh, you could have farmed during the demo? Safe scary over, I guess? Hmm. No, I definitely did not do that. Yeah, I keep nuking the bandits. It seems like a smart thing. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, what's gonna be your strategy for the end game, Loco? It's like, ah, uh, winging it? Winging it is most of my answer to most things, to be honest, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Loads of items, loads of items. These guys are real strong. So this is where you get when you connect two of those battlefields together. We got loads of healing here, but I still don't know if it's worth. Okay, we'll put one in front over there. Which I think has got to connect these villages eventually. Okay. 
Okay. Getting there. Slowly but surely. Great sound effect. Yeah, I think, like, basically when you summon in more enemies, yeah, you obviously summon in more enemies, so you have more chance to die, but you also have more chance to get loot. So it's like the, it's, it's, it's a balance, you know? You're trying to not be stupid about positioning all of it. So I think nuking the bandit camps and the the goblin camps is good. So far that seems to be smart. Your skeleton level can never really stay up though. Or keep up I guess with uh, the loop level. Maybe I'm wrong but it seems that way anyway. Is it imbalanced or do I suck? I definitely suck, yeah. Okay, let's go. I already got close to fighting the boss here. I mean, I could have fought the boss, but then I probably would have died. I would like to see the boss. Um... Alright. Try and keep the skeleton level at least reasonably good. Um, all right. So now my skeleton level is six four four. So that's loop six. Ah, okay, that's probably fine. Uh, what's this then? I'm really gonna replace that just for skeleton level. We can give it a try. Seems like a gamble, but anyways. Um, both of these seem good. Okay, let's go. down a cemetery over here another road lantern that's good this is gonna be a very tough square we might get murdered here I don't really want to nuke it though because you know I've purposefully played it like that but I wonder if it's too much this one over here we should probably finish this one up actually rock mountain all right we'll leave this vampire mansion for now this thing up top is scary Let's see how that goes first Okay. So I have point six six point nine eight. That's pretty good. All right. Actually, you know what? What's this? Swarm of bats. Everyone who doesn't have the ability gets the ring in an air effects, which has a ten percent chance of interrupting attacks. Okay, then. No, we actually murdered it. Nice. Yeah, my, my skeletons deal a ton of damage here. Okay, I'm gonna place down another one of those things. Which is one of the reasons why I've got such good loot. And why we actually have gotten some, uh, some good levels here. So is this not worth it then? Summon quality 26%. Um... I guess we don't get it, just to focus on skeleton level, really hardcore. Uh, 
Okay. We'll make a vampire mention over here too. Seems good. Would like to nuke that one, but... What's better, mech skeleton level or summon level? It seems so far that skeleton level is better. It's a bit early to say, though. This is my first run trying that out. But you also need to be given the items for it, right? Because otherwise there's no... New subscriber. Hey, <laughs> Parrot Lordy, what's up? Ooh. Low cat, low z, low cat, low z, low cat, Plus eight, low five, cat, four. Low z, low cat. Nice. Thanks for the sub, man. And thanks for the obnoxious text to speech. <laughs> I have plus eight, five. So I'm two and a half levels ahead of the enemy level, which may very well be good. I don't know, we're giving it a try. Basically full health again. One more loop? Agaring, what do you say, man? Yeah, I f yeah, I think, yeah. Agaring, like, I don't know if he's here, man. He might be flapping a pancake right now. I think we loop it. Yeah? Alright, alright, perfect. I already did, but... Loop the pancake. Ooh, a brass candlestick, guys. That's exciting. Who doesn't like brass candlesticks? <laughs> Don't die me! What's this? Skeleton level. Don't die. I had to pop a potion there. Okay. Oof. Oof. That was scary. Um. But, uh, let's put some meadows over here. Get some more health region. Probably a good idea. We'll connect these as well. Uh, my character's over here. I think I'm gonna nuke the goblin camp, not the goblins themselves, though. There we go. This is the scary one, too. It's got a little crown. Level 8 ring. We are really focused on level, man. On the, on the skeleton level. I don't know if this is the best way. I feel like I'm missing out. By not upgrading some of my slots, but... We'll find out. Oh god. This guy hits hard! Woo! Alright, close. A couple of villages though, we got a lot of heals over here, but... Yeah, we're trying it out. This thing hits very hard as well, but luckily it's hitting slowly and attacking my character first. Or my skeleton trotter. Skeleton level, nice. Once we have a couple skeletons out, it's fine. It's just difficult <laughs> to get there. Yeah, skeleton quality might also be important though. Do you think this is worth swapping the item on the left with? It should be. Yeah, the tanky skeleton would be nice. I'm gonna risk it. 
I still have plus seven, so that should be okay. Get some heals here. I might get... Okay, there's the tanky guy. Yeah, tanky guy is real nice. Life gets easier once he's out. Um... Receive... Oh, that's really nice. Extra healing over time here. I think I'm gonna pick that one. This one's nice, but I'm gonna pick this one. Um, treasury once more. Okay. Um, sure. Evasion is not bad. What's this game called? It's called Loop Hero. Just came out recently, man. I know the graphics would probably make you guess otherwise, but... <laughs> um... We are very close to making it back to the campfire. I don't know if we can do another loop after that. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I probably should not. And actually bring home some loot for once. <laughs> rather than dying again. But it's so tempting, guys. Loco made more progress than me in a day compared to me after a week. Oof. I have a stable setup, yeah, exactly. I might just get absolutely destroyed though, as soon as I go to the next loop, because enemies get more powerful as well, right? I think we're gonna do the boring choice, but the smart one, guys. There's always the next loop. <laughs> there always is the next loop. I can make another mud hut, but I don't want to do that. We have a couple more items that we can build, but we'll do that next time. <laughs> 